The Hunnams say that the Yahoos, a name given to us by them, are savages, animals who lead useless lives. They teach that the Hunnams are the masters, and they train us, send us away, or keep us near to work for them, picking crops and eating wild animals and plants. The Yahoos are described as the opposite of the Hunnams who praise themselves for their actions and thoughts. We may be the opposite, but it does not mean that Hunnams are perfect. There are many flaws in the Hunnams that we, the Yahoos, despise. The Yahoos do not understand these behaviors, for they make the Hunnams' lives dull and lifeless. The Hunnams pride themselves on being better than the Yahoos, but they view some of their people as worse than others. The Yahoos are equal, except for the leader who has a strong will to make others do what they must. The Hunnams judge their kind by the most useless of traits, like color. A gray horse is no different from a brown horse, yet the sorrel nag, a brown horse servant, works for the master from birth without any choice of what they can do. How can a horse be born a slave when the Hunnams say they are all a great nation? The Hunnams do not treat the servants as badly as the Yahoos, but they see differences where there should be none. A leader of the Yahoos takes control, but the Hunnams decide for others what they should do. The most horrible part of the Hunnams' lives is how they treat the Yahoos. They see us as brutes and use our energy for their own needs. The Yahoos work tirelessly only to receive nothing but hate. The Yahoos are slaves, a word that Englishmen like Gulliver know well. So, the Hunnams are not kind or gentle as they see themselves, they describe the Yahoos as cruel, but we do not enslave our people. The Yahoos carry the Hunnams and work in the gardens, although we never wanted to do it. The Yahoos do not want to work for the Hunnams or anyone else, but the horses make men and women their pets and workers, taking away freedom to pillage or steal. Who is greedier, then, the Yahoos, who take what they can get with their own two hands, or the Hunnams, who take from others' work and give nothing back? The thoughts of the Hunnams are as hard to understand as their deeds. The Yahoos act as their heart moves them, fighting and loving are parts of life that make it fun. The Hunnams lead dull lives where nothing happens but existence and death. The word lie does not exist in their language, but the Hunnams cannot be true to themselves when they say that love has no place in their relationships. As a Yahoo, I see no joy in marrying to have children and nothing else. The whole nation deciding what is reasonable seems impossible, because the horses must have some differing thoughts. They are hiding their true natures and pretending that they do not feel. The Yahoos are not cowards in the end, but the Hunnams are. They are afraid to disagree or to feel love and desire for one another, choosing an emotionless existence. Reason cannot explain love or passion, and breeding for the best characteristics means that the Hunnams fear becoming even a little similar to the Yahoos. In their feeling of superiority, the Hunnams also become ignorant of others. They do not learn about the Yahoos to live with us but to control us. The Hunnams view their system as the best and do not want to see how we can live without them and be happy in our way. The bland and unchanging lives that the Hunnams live are not appealing. If there were other people, like Gulliver, who lived beyond the sea, the Hunnams would not welcome them. Instead, they would treat them like they do us, putting themselves above all and judging harshly traits that do not fit their view of goodness. If they were to act like us, we would welcome them regardless of appearance, if we were to do what they do, they would still hate us. In the end, the Hunnams are worse than the Yahoos, as they call us, in many ways. They treat us horribly, and they decide the fates for other nations, our people are slaves whose lives depend on the decisions of the Hunnams. They even manipulate their kind into believing that they are not equal to each other, a problem we never had. They live in ignorance and pretend that by exploiting us, they are helping the Yahoos to live properly. The Hunnams do not feel joy and lose out on fun and desire. The choice of reason over feelings makes them stubborn to change and fearful of any relation to our people. You can find this and many other essay samples on our website studycorgi.com.